Hello guys, what is up? Mr. Spockton here and today we are playing The Lost Day on Earth. Now you guys might be wondering, why have I decided to play this game? Well, because it is a season for Halloween and you know, zombie and horror stuff goes well together. So you know, it goes well with the theme. So yeah, we're playing some Lost of Us today. Now I'm going to be posting every day from today. I don't know when I'm going to stop, probably soon, but hey. For now you're getting you guys are getting content from day to day so you guys should be thankful about that so anyway as i started the game i got my daily stuff you know i got a hatchet i got a jacket other stuff like this and i've played this game before so i know how it how it works but i wanted to actually play this game a lot differently like if i were going to do a gameplay which i was thinking of doing well then I will have to do 10 minutes videos, edit it, do a of shit with it where I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to be recording and I'm going to be telling you guys what I've been doing. Just like I'm, what I'm doing right now. I'm literally commenting on what the fuck is happening in this video. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying that. But anyway, the first thing I actually saw when I entered the game was the crash site. Yeah, I don't know what my man was thinking or what our character was thinking. But yeah, I guess we are going to check out a crash. Yeah, we're gonna get some loot. Let's. Go. Oh, a puppy. All right, guess I'll be taking this. Thank you very much. I'm gonna put that in my pocket real quick. I don't know how it's gonna be fitting, but hey, I don't care. It's mine now. You can't tell me anything. I found it. Okay, it's mine. Yo, why the fuck is there a matchet in this box? Hey yo, what? Was someone killed or something? Is that why the plane crashed? What the fuck? Why was someone able to bring this on a plane? I thought they weren't able to do that. Why is there a crowbar here? What? Hey yo, this, this some shit happening in this world. I'm not going to be questioning this because it's helping me, but what the fuck is going on? All right, so we are back home. Okay, we've got all the loot. Ah, all right, so let me just keep everything and I'm gonna have to go back there because I know that I've kept some stuff over there like weapons. I think I... Oh wait, now I just remember. There was a Glock in there. I don't know who's carrying a Glock on a, uh, on a plane, but okay, I guess I'll take it. It's a gun. It's gonna be useful. Oh, the jerk is going pretty fine. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to go back there and see if hopefully everything is there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I brought everything: um, the gun, the crowbar, the hatchet. Everything is with me. Not hatchet, the cleaver. It's with me. I'm keeping everything here because I don't know. It may be useful. Alright, so I feel like I should probably start planting some stuff. I mean, I have seeds with me. I have 11 of them, which is very useful. And I think it's quite, it's quite taking out some place. So let me just take the wood, keep this in its place, take the rocks. And yeah, I think that's all you need for a garden. A garden bed? Is that how it's called? Um, yes, it's actually called a garden bed. Wow, I, I was not wrong. Alright, so I think I'm gonna build two of them because I feel like two is gonna be enough. I mean, we need a lot of resources to survive, so let's create one and another one just in case so that we can actually get a lot of food because I think you get 20 carrots or 40 carrots per seeds. No, not per seeds, but for each um, uh, garden beds. So, yeah, we're gonna try to get that. So, one seed is actually a carrot. Not no, not a carrot, but two carrots. So that's actually really amazing. But for now, we're gonna have to go explore some more after I've built this. So yeah, let's go check it out. All right, guys. So I've just looted the green zone right there. It, there wasn't really anything special. I think there was only leaves, or was it fiber? I think it's fiber. So yeah, there was fiber and seeds. And oh wait, wait. Actually, there was a crate. Not crate, there was a bag and I think it was, it had a hammer and a bat, so that's pretty good. Oh, wait, who is that? Is that a survivor? 
Oh, hello. Oh, wait, wait, never mind. Let's go keep the weapons first. Because I remember that there was actually kidnappers sometimes. It's an event. Wait, I think I'm gonna need... Yeah, I was right. I'm gonna need more crates right now to keep the weapons and other stuff. Yeah, alright. So, should probably create one. There we go. Let's learn it. Because I've literally just leveled up. So, I have one point. Alright, so we're gonna place it just beside the couch. Because why not? There we go. Alright, so let's start storing the stuff. We're gonna keep... Actually, the wheel. The wheel is actually pretty good. I might keep it. I might keep it for the motorcycle because I'm pretty sure that I need two of them. We're gonna keep the wood as well. Um, I think I'm gonna have to start drying the meat. So yeah, let's put it here. Oh, there's four jerkies. Not bad. What about the carrots? Is the carrot going well? Yeah, all right. We already got four, so let's put the rest in there. Okay, so let's go talk to him now. Zombies attacked my house. I need your help. Oh, okay, so I thought that it was a kidnapper, a kidnapper. Uh, I was wrong, it was actually just a survivor. All right, so we should probably go help him out. I'm pretty sure that he gives us some stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna check this out. An event. Oh, so there's an airdrop. There's also zombies at Jack's house. All right, so, ooh, I kind of want to go to the airdrop though. Because the airdrop has more stuff, I'm guaranteed to get more stuff. You know what, I'm running to the airdrop. I'm sorry Jack, but I'm gonna be coming back right after I'm done getting this airdrop. Because airdrops are very rare in the game. When I mean rare, I really, I really mean like it's uncommon. Like yes, you do get it quite often, but not as often as you would think. But it is quite rare, but they do contain quite good stuff. So. Now, the problem is, is that this place is very dangerous since they contain spitters and other kind of zombies. I think there's even bloaters here, which is not the best zombies to want to deal at my level right now. So, oh no, something's running at me. Okay, it's a spitter. Oh shit, no. Oh, I forgot to avoid that. Oh well, what is it gonna give me? Two ropes. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can make some pretty good stuff out of it. Um, oh my god, there's so much near the airdrop. Can I loot it? Oh no, another one's coming. Alright, let's kill it as fast as we can. Hopefully the other one doesn't hear us. Oh, I've leveled up. Great, let's see what I can get. Um, Alright, I'm gonna get it lucky because the other ones are kind of boring. Um, There we go. Hopefully nobody attacks me. And let's see what we get. Come on. There we go. Ooh, we got a machete and an engine? What is it? Yeah, it's an engine. Okay, that's pretty good. We should probably leave now, but I'm gonna go check if there's actually other loots, like maybe crates or everything. Actually, let me get this deer. I might as well get some meat before I go. Why not? Oh, I missed. God damn. I'm gonna take the fiber. But I need some seeds, you know? Actually, no. Alright, so we should probably try to get as much of the fiber. I was thinking of getting some trees of cutting some trees down but there's really no point in doing it so might as well just collect the leaves and go all right so i just finished storing everything that we got from the airdrop now let's go straight to jack's house now i've seen this event uh, earlier when i was playing before so i know what's going to happen so we're just gonna skip through it Basically, you try to repair the guy's house, you slowly help him, but at the end, the zombies destroy his house anyway. But there is actually some loot for you in there, so I would suggest doing it. So yeah, at least bring a good weapon because you're gonna have to be fighting a lot of zombies. So yeah, good luck on that. Alright, so hopefully this is the last wave of zombies. I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last wave. Let's see. Yep, I was correct. Thanks. Let's go have a chat. Well, looks like it's done now. Great job. Oh, ooh. Wait, I can hear something. It's them again. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of know that. Kind of they knew that. We try to build stone walls. I'm getting out of here. Well, the horde is destroying everything. Yep, this is literally what we've been working for just for the house to destroy and the guy leaving and uh, but you do have a crate here so 
I don't know what happens if you let the guy die, do. Hmm. Another time I will try that. So yeah. For now, we're going back to the base. Actually, can I, can I take this? Nope. Okay, I tried. All right. Now we're leaving. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you want me to continue this uh, playthrough, just tell me. I will continue it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.